Welcome to Japan Issues. Japan's approach to AI regulation and its impact on the 2023 G7 presidency. I would like to focus on the commentary, February 14, 2023, by Hiroki Habuka, a non resident fellow with the AI Governance Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Artificial intelligence, AI, is making significant changes to our businesses and daily lives. While artificial intelligence brings dramatic solutions to societal problems, its unpredictable nature, unexplainability, and reflection or amplification of data biases raise various concerns about privacy, security, fairness, and even democracy. In response, governments, international organizations, and research institutes around the world began publishing a series of principles for human centric artificial intelligence in the late 2010s. What began as broad principles are now transforming into more specific regulations. In 2021, the European Commission published the Draft Artificial Intelligence Act. Which classifies artificial intelligence according to four levels and prescribes corresponding obligations, including enhanced security, transparency, and accountability measures. In the United States, the Algorithmic Accountability Act of 2022 was introduced in both Houses of Congress in February 2022. In June 2022, Canada proposed the Artificial Intelligence and Data Act, IDA in which risk management and information disclosure regarding high-impact artificial intelligence systems will be made mandatory. While regulating artificial intelligence is somewhat necessary for preventing threats to fundamental values, there is a concern that the burden of compliance and the ambiguity of regulatory contents may stifle innovation. In addition, Regulatory fragmentation will impose serious costs not only on businesses but also society. How to address artificial intelligence's risks while accelerating beneficial innovation and adoption is one of the most difficult challenges for policymakers, including Group of Seven, G7, leaders. During the 2023 G7 summit in Japan, Digital ministers are expected to discuss the human-centric approach to artificial intelligence, which may cover regulatory or non-regulatory policy tools. As the host country, Japan's approach to artificial intelligence regulation may have considerable influence on consensus building among global leaders. This paper analyzes the key trends in Japan's artificial intelligence regulation and discusses what arguments could be made at the G7 summit. To summarize, Japan has developed and revised artificial intelligence-related regulations with the goal of maximizing artificial intelligence's positive impact on society, rather than suppressing it out of overestimated risks. The emphasis is on a risk-based, agile, and multi-stakeholder process, rather than a one-size-fits-all obligation or prohibition. Japan's approach provides important insights into global trends on artificial intelligence regulation. In 2019, the Japanese government published the Social Principles of Human-Centric Artificial Intelligence, Social Principles, as principles for implementing artificial intelligence in society. The social principles set forth three basic philosophies, human dignity, diversity and inclusion, and sustainability. It is important to note that the goal of the social principles is not to restrict the use of artificial intelligence in order to protect these principles but rather to realize them through artificial intelligence. This corresponds to the structure of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development's OECD, Artificial Intelligence Principles, whose first principle is to achieve inclusive growth, sustainable development, and well-being through artificial intelligence. To achieve these goals, the social principles set forth seven principles surrounding artificial intelligence. 1. Human-centric. 2. Education, literacy. 3. Privacy protection. 4. Ensuring security. 5. Fair competition. 
6. Fairness, Accountability, and Transparency, and 7. Innovation. It should be noted that the principles include not only the protective elements of privacy and security but also the principles that guide the active use of artificial intelligence, such as education, fair competition, and innovation. Japan's artificial intelligence regulatory policy is based on these social principles. Its artificial intelligence regulations can be classified into two categories. On the regulation on artificial intelligence side, Japan has taken the approach of respecting companies' voluntary governance and providing non-binding guidelines to support it, while imposing transparency obligations on some large digital platforms. On the regulation for artificial intelligence side, Japan is pursuing regulatory reforms that allow artificial intelligence to be used for positive social impacts and for achieving regulatory objectives. However, it remains to be seen what kind of AI will actually meet the requirements of the regulation. Consideration should be given in light of global standards. And this is international cooperation is needed on AI regulation. International cooperation in the form of sharing best practices, establishing shared standards, and ensuring future interoperability may appear to be the typical pattern that has been repeated in various fields in the past. However, some special attention should be paid in the field of AI governance. First, sufficient AI governance cannot be achieved solely through intergovernmental cooperation. Given the technical complexity of AI systems, as well as the magnitude of AI's impact on human autonomy and economy, both in positive and negative ways, it is important to have multi-stakeholder collaboration. Stakeholders include not only experts in technology, law, economics, and management but also individuals and communities as the ultimate beneficiaries of AI governance. Second, given the speed of evolution for AI technologies, AI governance methods need to be agile and continuously evaluated and updated. In updating, it is necessary not only to consider existing laws and guidance but also to adjust the structure of the regulatory system itself to meet actual needs, such as the extent to which laws should be provided, and what guidance is needed, to tackle actual problems. The Japanese government has named this multi-stakeholder and flexible governance process, Agile Governance, and has positioned it as a fundamental policy for a digitalized society. Medi summarizes the overarching concept across three reports published in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Japan's Governance Guidelines for Implementation of AI Principles and the Guidebook on Corporate Governance for Privacy and Digital Transformation introduced in the previous section are also based on this concept. Because of its clear and consistent vision for AI governance and its successful AI regulatory reforms, as well as various initiatives by businesses to create good governance practices and contribute to standard setting, Japan has a promising position to move the G7 collaboration on good AI governance forward. That's all. For details please read the original report. Thank you for watching.